Okay, we are at Rossidi Winery here in Slavin, um, Bulgaria. And I'm hanging out with uh, Eduardo, we call him Eddie. And Rossidi has some uh, history being the first winery in Bulgaria to bottle an orange wine. And it has received accolades, critical acclaim. Tell us about the way you bottle that. Okay, because that's an interesting bottle. It's a clay, terracotta, pure terracotta bottle. Uh, first, it's a, nat it's a natural uh, product, yeah. pure clay. Uh, and it's just uh, an addition to the natural way of making the orange wine, which has no culture yeast added, no temperature control, no stabilization, no filtration, and even no, no sulfites added to this wine. Not a single sulfite. At any point. Not a single one. So, uh, yeah, this one is for you. Oh. And we'll be oh my goodness from the barrels now. We're the gonna taste this from the wow. So I, I've got this is probably the rarest bottle. Is this the 2016? No, that's the 18. That's the eight. Oh, it's the 18. So okay. The new one. So this is okay. This is beautiful. I got the 2018. Are you kidding? Bottled. So you just taste the same from the barrels. We're, sta we're tasting it from the barrels as well, but I'm going to take that one home. I'm going to share that with uh, people who, who need to understand what's going on in Bulgaria. Hey, if you could say three sentences or three words, why should people come to Bulgaria? Well, for, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, the Bulgarian, why should they see the Bulgarian wine scene? Well, for sure, they will discover new wineries, new wines, a uh, different approach from what they know used to be or I don't know. Uh, it's an interesting place to visit. Uh, and look, at, look at that color. About the Bulgarian culture, the new uh, things that are going on in our country and especially for wine making, the new approach of making wines, the new wines that we make. Uh, the fact that we want to present Bulgaria on the uh, world uh, wine map um, in a different light, a new approach, new wineries, uh, conscious wine making, quality wines, uh, craft wines if you want to call them, because uh, we are aiming toward the consumer who, who is uh, educated about wines, who appreciate wines and not just drink by the bottle from the shelf, you know. So uh, a lot of new stuff has happened and has changed in Bulgaria um, in recent years, and there's a lot of things and wines to taste and to experience in Bulgaria, so... And a real rich culture, uh, and, and, and good food, and um, the climate, and you've got, you know, you've got very diverse, you know, you've got the hot climate close to the Greeks and Turkey border, you're here in Sliven where you get this hot, but you have that cool, I don't want to call it the Mistral, you use, you, 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 you the, the, the winds. Yeah, it's the most windy place in, in Bulgaria. That's what fam Sliven is famous for, and it's wind. And, and, and they, they make, a, I tasted earlier, a Pinot Noir, and you come through here and it gets really hot here, and you think, God, is this too hot for Pinot Noir? But the winds, as you explain how that works. Well, our vineyard is located just beneath the mountain. It's north-oriented, it's facing north, uh, and all the air currents, uh, the cool ones coming down from the mountain during the... Uh, even the day, but especially in the night, they cool down the grapes during the harvest uh, the ripening season. Uh, they ventilate the grapes. We never had problem with rot, for example, because uh, of the of the wind, and that uh, makes us able to grow uh, Gewürztraminer and Pinot Noir, which are usually not very traditional, so to say, grape varieties for this region. Yeah, and I will say I did taste the Gewürztraminer. And I'm not usually a fan because of how it can get too perfumey and too over the top. This one has acidity, it has, uh, it's restrained on the nose, it's dry, it's almost bone dry. How, what was the sugar level of that? I mean, it must 1. have been... 1.8 yeah. of restriction. Yeah, this is the kind of gewurz you can get your teeth and your palate around for sure. Yeah, it was awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, let's let's try the orange wine.